Hi, my name is Matt Harrington. Uh, I'm the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Southern Africa and have responsibility for Southern Africa and the Department of State. Uh, took over that job in January. I'm very excited about being in South Africa. I've spent a lot of my time both professionally and as a child in Southern Africa and in many ways I feel as if I'm coming home. Trade and investment is one. We have 600 U.S. companies in South Africa and looking for opportunities to encourage even more foreign investments. Uh, PEPFAR, the fight against HIV AIDS, is another priority. This is a, a huge good news story in which that partnership has ensured that many people who are HIV positive are able to live long and fulfilling and healthy lives. And I would also mention youth engagement. There are a lot of uh, young South Africans and we engage them and help empower them in all sorts of ways. A big reason that I'm in South Africa is there is a continent-wide conference for Mandela Washington Fellows, the flagship exchange program that lifts up young African leaders and gives them academic training and leadership training and mentoring training. Every time I uh, meet with young African leaders, it gives me uh, hope and optimism and, and, uh, and inspiration that the future will be better than the past. There is a youth bulge in Africa. I think a very large percentage of the population is below the age of 25. This could be a huge advantage for Africa if uh, they are educated and they find good jobs. It will make Africa dynamic uh, economically going into the future. I work a lot with the PEPFAR program, which to me is one of the great new stories of partnership that we've had with other governments and civil society in Africa. And there's an image that sticks out in my mind, which is emblematic of this partnership. We were hosting the visit of a senior U.S. government official in a clinic that we had helped build in a clinic that got a lot of support through the PEPFAR program. And this official was holding a baby that had just been born. That baby was born to an HIV positive mother, but the baby was HIV negative. Uh, and that to me was just an image of the success of that partnership. I think I will never forget when my bring, going to the Western Cape with my son when he was young and standing, uh, standing at the top of the cliff and looking down at where the two oceans meet. And that's an image that I think I will remember and he still remembers.